or our noggins. Who better to tell us about super brain food than Andrew Metcalf? Good to see you. Good to see you too. Let's really drive home that breakfast because many people are not eating breakfast. Yeah, skipping it. Skipping it. They're just, or they have a cup of coffee and a bagel and they think that's breakfast. New, that new, is new. not breakfast. I can't do it because I, I get this mush brain. I, you and I have talked about this. I get this mush brain thing if so I don't eat breakfast. So you missed breakfast today, huh? Yeah, I had a very light <laughs> breakfast, which was a mistake. Um, yeah, and, and the other point, uh, too, I thought was interesting was when I was in college, we would always like eat a candy bar before a test or something because they would say, the sugar activates, you know, parts of your brain. Now, I don't know if that's true or not, but I think that we've learned a lot about what foods can do for us as far as that's our right. cognitive skills. Food is medicine is really sure. what it comes down to. It's like a prescription. And so, first off, let's just remind you that if you eat breakfast, you are less likely to be hungry throughout the day. You will stabilize your blood sugar. And most importantly, you will have a better metabolism. In a diet study of 1,400 calories, one group had the 700-calorie breakfast, okay. 400 calories calorie lunch, 300 calorie dinner. The other group had a 300 calorie breakfast, 400 mm. calorie lunch, 700 calorie dinner. At the end of three months, the group with the bigger breakfast, no change in calories or exercise, lost 13 pounds more How on the about average. that? So get moving in the morning and make sure you eat. Interesting Now let me give you the right, brain yeah, let's talk boosting about foods. some brain boosting foods. We've heard it over and over Super again. Food. We say blueberries and there's more research now. Even Tufts University Center for Anti-Aging mm. showed that people did better with one cup of blueberries before testing than people who didn't eat the frozen and, and, and let me just stop you right there because uh, you're holding a bag of frozen, which I love because you can put them in drinks and whatnot. Portable. A lot of times you go to the grocery store, let's be honest, the blueberries don't look great, and sometimes they're uber expensive. Can we get the same benefits out of the frozen? Absolutely, and that's part of the point here. I want you to make these things simple and easy. So frozen blueberries are portable. They go well because you don't have to add or dilute anything into your smoothie. I did a little smoothie with my other favorite superfood. Oh, I love almonds. Almonds. And we know that they're good for protein and fat, but they also are high in vitamin E, and E helps our brains function better as well. Yes, so it does. I thought I would make this nice little smoothie for you during the oh, break. Oh, can I, can I oh, taste boy. it? Yeah, look at it. Looks really great going through this. It looks goopy, but I'm still, so, still going to try it. It looks but good. But think of those antioxidants. <laughs> Isn't it interesting too that blueberries are so good for your brain, and purple is the brain chakra. That's just almond milk, hey, almonds, that's good. and uh, I like protein. It. Yeah, silk it's has subtle. A new... It's not even that blueberry y, for lack of a better word. Yeah, and then almond uh, milk is great. I love great. almond milk. I drink it almost Inside daily. Of the dairy. And they have a new Greek yogurt almond milk, Get which out is of kind here. of coming out too. So that's look for that in stores by All right, you've got something here uh, which I absolutely I, I love. First of all, anything you can squeeze an avocado into, I'm a big fan of. Well, what? avocados we know are such great fats for our brains. Right. And this here was just something quick that if you want to go, um, Freshy offers an egg bean, tomato, and avocado wrap for in the morning. But if you don't have time to go out, you can use your own coffee mug, crack two or three eggs into the cup, throw in some spinach, and then top what? it with avocado, put it in the microwave for a minute, and you will have eggs on the run. Get out of here. Yeah, and remember, we want to make sure we're getting a good base of protein. Eggs offer choline and vitamin Bs, so they help protect the brain as well. And three eggs is about enough protein for breakfast, around 27 grams. So make sure that you're eating more than one egg. If you are going to go into the smoothies, make sure you're getting about 25 grams of protein. And let's talk about our good old-fashioned oatmeal. One of my absolutely favorites. Now, are we? do we have to stick with the steel cut? Is that really where it's at still? Well, I really do like the steel cut because you're going to get more whole grain out too. of it. And most restaurants will serve that as well. They do. So when you look at places like Southern Cut, they end up having a great oatmeal, potassium, iron, zinc, whole grains and fiber. But top that off with a little bit of cinnamon and apples. Smells so good. Apples have quercetin and quercetin is known for helping support brain health. So you've got quercetin, vitamin B, all of these great things. Apple, oats, avocado, eggs, almonds, blueberries. That's what I'm talking about. Everybody get a good breakfast.